According to the Pew Research Center, men are less likely to enroll in college than women and have been for the last two decades. And only 32% of men ages 25 and 34 surveyed in 2021 had a college degree compared to 46% of women. It is no secret that not only men, but people in general are applying to college a lot less as time goes on. I'm one of those guys that when I was 18 and I had graduated out of high school, I decided that I was not going to go to college. And my parents, to be honest, when I first told them that I wasn't going to college, they weren't as enthusiastic, mainly because, you know, in their times when they were my age when they were 20 or 18 for them college was everything like for them during that time if you were to go to college and you graduated just by having a degree let's say you had a master's or a bachelor's that was like success to like people back in the days and so i guess you could say that i fit into that category and that statistic of men who are not going to college and before i even get to the reasons of why i believe that men are not going to college anymore i want to go over just something just i want to emphasize something that's really important before we get to all of this college is not useless to everybody but college is not for everyone. College may be useful for the person who wants to become a doctor, for the person who wants to become an engineer, for the person who wants to become an accountant, but for someone out there who is not on that side of the field and they wanna you know, start their own business, they wanna start their own you know, side hustle, they wanna go hard on an idea that they have in their mind and they know that to start that idea, to succeed with it, they don't need a degree. For them, going to college, spending four or eight years studying something wouldn't be as useful to them compared to them going full all in for those four or eight years on that idea that they wanna start. The reason why I wanted to emphasize that is because there's a lot of people out there who literally get triggered whenever someone says that college is useless and that it is not needed in the world when, you know, in reality, college may be useful for certain things, but for everybody, it may not be. So here's a couple of reasons why I believe that college is seeing a decrease in men and just people in general. Men are realizing they don't need a college degree to succeed. We are living in a way different era compared to when our parents or our grandparents were like 18. Back then, they didn't have the resources or access to what we have now in today's world. They didn't have the internet they didn't have nothing that we have now think about it back then our parents or grandparents couldn't go online to google or couldn't go on youtube and learn something that can impact their life in a positive way there was no such thing as this right now where you could watch someone from a different state a different country and you learn something and then you apply it in your own life there was no such thing as learning a skill online and making money from it we live in a world now where someone who's in good shape who has built muscle or has lost weight and is documenting their journey they start gaining some following on instagram or on youtube and then they start giving out tips they might even create a training course on how to, you can do the same thing they start making a living from it they start getting sponsorships next thing you know they don't need to go and work a regular job now they could just work from home doing those training courses because of what they've done with themselves and now they're teaching others how to do the same thing we live in a world now where a young person in their 20s instead of going to college spending four to eight years and getting themselves in debt they can literally learn a skill online which is now actually Actually possible and they can start making a living from it they can make six figures a year they can make even millions a year there's people out there that are making good money online just from what they've learned from that skill that they've acquired so a young person nowadays looks at the world that we're living in today and the possibilities that are now available and they're thinking to themselves why would i go to college get myself in debt spend 48 years learning something that i do not want to do for the rest of my life when i could just learn something online that i actually am interested in and i could actually make a living from it if i master it most degrees in college are not worth the money and years that you spend and let's be real unless you're planning to become a doctor a lawyer an engineer something that has to do with like law or government or anything health related all the other degrees are basically useless to be honest a lot of young people nowadays are actually interested in becoming their own bosses if you ask the typical young person right now what they would do for the rest of their life or what do they plan to do they will most likely tell you that they want to be financially free that they don't want to be stressed out from working a job that they hate and if you want to start your own thing if you want to become an entrepreneur you don't really need to go to college for that there's a lot of colleges out there that offer entrepreneurship but the crazy thing is, is that the professor himself is not even a successful entrepreneur but like when someone's becoming a doctor and they're going to medical school they're actually learning from doctors themselves like actually doctors who have been doing this for years which is actually the best way to learn and college is like this a business professor who hasn't even built their own business is teaching young adults how to succeed in business like does that even make sense and the reason why i'm telling you is because i know people who have went to college and who have like majored in business and their own business professors aren't even succeeding in business or haven't even built their own business many people nowadays are realizing that the college degrees that were useful back in the day back when our parents were 20 or 18 now in today's world they're not as useful as they once were they're not as valuable as they once were and not to mention the fact that you gave yourself a huge debt especially if you didn't even get a scholarship and now after you graduate you end up searching for that job that you worked 
you know, for that degree for. And then you end up spending the rest of your years, your rest of the 30s until your 40s trying to pay off those student loans that you grabbed because you went and majored in this thing that you most likely don't even like. Many people regret college and this makes other people think twice about it. I know people who literally went to college, graduated, and then they ended up just getting the piece of paper. They got it on their wall. They got a little bit of ego boost. Like, look at me, I have a degree. I'm smarter than you. And they end up working a job that has nothing to do with the degree that they have, nothing to do with what they studied for. And they are now struggling to pay off the student loans that they grabbed. And a typical person will look at this and be like, why did this person go to college, spend money and years studying something that they're not even working for after they graduate? A lot of people literally regret the years and the money that they spent going to college, especially after they realize that the work that they're doing literally has nothing to do with the major that they studied for. Like I remember I had this teacher in school and she literally looked like miserable every single time she came into work she literally was always with that like her energy was so like drained like she was like not even the type of teacher who looked like she was enthusiastic about coming to work and i remember one time she told us that she was literally still in debt with like over 100k for the college loans that she took out and she was over 30 years old already and i could just tell from the look of her face that she was not excited about being a teacher and that she regretted the years and the money that she spent from going to college to become a teacher because you could tell from her face that she didn't even want to be there and many just don't know what to do you know a lot of people are just taking a break from school after graduating high school i actually am an advocate for taking a gap year after high school because it is impossible for a young 18 year old or 17 year old or 19 year old to know exactly what they truly want to do in life and then get themselves trapped in debt pay money to learn something that they don't even know if they want to do long term and this is just a trap and so i believe that taking a gap year is extremely important i actually made a video about this before going fully and deep on why you should do this and a lot of people who actually take a gap year end up doing something that has nothing to do with college and they end up pursuing that and they end up making good money from it and then there's a group of men who are just lazy and don't want to learn anymore there are other men out there who just simply don't want to learn they're just lazy they don't want to go to school but they also don't want to learn anything outside of school so they just get themselves a regular job just to feed themselves something just to get themselves to have some food in their plate and they don't seek any growth afterwards and this is the group of men that you need to avoid you do not want to be in this group of men who literally don't seek growth even after not going to college even though I didn't go to college I decided that I wanted to learn still and one of the things that I recommend people to do is to continually learn by like reading books by educating themselves online I am an avid reader I make sure I read every single day the learning doesn't stop in fact I've actually even learned more life skills more things that are valuable to my life from books than I've ever learned from school. Just because you didn't go to college doesn't mean that the learning stops. And that's a major mistake that a lot of people make when they don't go to school anymore. Like I remember when I first graduated high school, right? Like when I first graduated and I literally got out of my school and I was going home and it was my last day. I was so excited because I was like, finally, no more homework, no more studying. I'm done with that. It's time to earn some money. And then later on, literally shortly after, I ended up realizing that that's not the case in the real world. Learning never stops. Studying never stops. And actually, if you want to earn a lot more money, if you want to increase your income, you also have to increase your knowledge. And I think the major reason why I think college is seeing a decrease in enrollment, especially from men, is because the way the world is rapidly changing, college is not following through with it. And the ROI, the return of investment of a guy or anyone just in general applying to college is just not as high. It's not as attractive anymore as it used to be. Colleges still teaches the same thing that they did years ago. And like I said, the reason I know this is because I knew people who have still went to college and who actually went to college and then dropped out because they realized how useless it was for them. So I believe that the best thing that you should do if you're someone who fits that statistic of people who are not going to college anymore is to never stop learning. Never stop seeking more knowledge that you can implement in your own life. Read more books learn that new skill online that is actually possible nowadays think about it back then when our parents were our age learning a skill online was not possible seeking answers online was not possible we have those resources now so we live in an advantage nowadays learn new things adapt you know the world is rapidly changing and so since the world is rapidly changing you have to be able to adapt to it and not fall behind and the best way to do that is to never stop learning and never stop seeking more knowledge but anyways that's all i gotta say i'm out